if you are someone who's producing some sort of specialty whiskey and you want to be able to sell it, does that mean you have to go around to multiple boards and try to convince people that this is a product that they should have on the shelves at their local ABC store? Yeah, that's part of the problem. Once you get listed by the commission, you still have to convince that the local boards to have it in your store. John, that sounds like that is so complicated and so bureaucratic and costly to someone who is in the production business. Why would they even bother? It seems like it's a disincentive to even be in the business. It does function as a disincentive, and that's one of the reasons I believe that we have had so few distilleries coming back despite so many more breweries and wineries coming back. That's interesting. Uh, What's the disparity like between the industries? There are over 300 breweries now. Um, There are nearly 200 wineries, not quite 200 wineries, but only 57 distilleries. Now, to put this in context, before 1908, North Carolina was the nation's leader in number of distilleries, and we also were the nation's leader in selling wine products. I mentioned at the beginning of our our discussion that there are a few members of the General Assembly who, like you, uh, believe that this is outdated, like the John Locke Foundation, and think that it's time to change this. So in order to go about that, what would be the steps that North Carolina would take to uh, wrest loose some of this control from these uh, local boards? You know, cut the Gordian knot when it comes to the boards. Just get rid of them. 